Welcome to a School of Civil Engineering. In our previous video, I have shown you that how we will calculate our earthquake load for BNBC 2017 and also for ASCE 705 and also for ASCE 10 sorry 710 and uh, I have introduced you with this with that excel file and by using that file we'll do our further work so from here you are seeing that by using that we'll use our further work and after that we'll find our ASCE value that is the required value and from here we'll find out our BNBC 2017 value for ETAPS input so first of all I have to calculate that value and I will consider our building length is suppose and I'll consider that it take it 40 and take width as 30 30 and number of history take it take as it uh, 10 no, uh, sorry 15 no problem and uh, our earthquake load 200 psf and uh, as we have considered that our number of history is 15 and uh, let's also consider every history height is 10 feet so total height will be 150 feet Now we have selected that value in our previous video so I will not change that if you didn't see my previous video you can pause that the link are given in description so save that and here we are seeing that our value is that is our value that is our value for our building and we will check that we will check that in ETAPS okay so let's start first of all we'll open our etaps 2016 and uh, if you haven't etaps 2016 you can watch my playlist where Every solution are given about ETAPS 2016 version number 16.2.1. Now we'll go for new model and I'll do it quickly because uh, I have already discussed about that how to do that work in a previous video. And also you can follow our total tutorial so from here I'll see that it's 40 I mean I have considered 10 feet 10 feet 10 feet width, 10 feet length so 40 mil L will be 5 and Y will be 4 it's 4 and both are 10 feet and 10 feet and number of s3 first of all I'll consider that number of s3 2 and after that I will do that and topical height 10 bottom s3 height also 10 
Okay, done. Grid only. Okay. And if you don't know about that, you can watch my previous video. I think it will be clear to you. So now I'll complete that building. So I'll uh, don't define anything to create that building. Only I will define for load and uh, for earthquake load. So first of all, I'll go second floor. from here show boundary plane so I'm in second floor now I'll go here here draw quick beam and from here I'll consider anyone frame and concrete beam from here I'll draw that also I'll go first floor so I have to draw that um, again go now I'll draw slab draw quick slab slab I'll go to floor uh, I'm just going that uh, doing that quickly because I'll only do the take okay I'll only check for that is it okay or not or excel file is okay or not or how can we in our excel data in that etabs and uh, if you have any problem you can watch that how we draw a model so i'm going to draw column so from here i will select concrete column and i'll draw here so uh, first, sorry first of all i will eat. go here all the story and draw column okay and then i'll go down floor here and i'll give here joint paste it fixed apply okay so oh sorry any mistake before that I have to make that for all a story again select that assign join restraint apply okay so check it's done now we'll replicate our building we'll replicate our building for that we have to go edit it is story or create system now we have to add our story so we have to add our story first of all base then story 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 9 10 11 12 15 okay it's done it's 15 go for modify and uh, total height of our building is 150 feet okay then okay it's 150 feet 15 history building now we'll go so we'll go for second floor apply okay and we we'll copy that we'll replicate that in for every story so we'll go to edit again replicate and if you don't know about that how to do that you can watch my previous video i think it will be clear to you and i'm not going to discuss about that anymore at now i'll complete my video in a short time that our model are ready to analysis our model are ready to analyze
now we'll mesh our small slab so we'll select select object type floor select close that assign shell from here we'll go here floor auto mesh option here for the 12 inch I always prefer that in 12 bits because uh, when we consider a, a small strip, I mean a, a small mesh, then it will uh, also consider that uh, for good result. So apply and okay, our mesh are okay. Uh, so we have to make our model according to our. Tabs, sorry according to our excel file now I'll go here devil model let's layout story data and from here this is the story data and from here I will copy one thing our story name because you are seeing that here our history name is GL F1 F2 like that and uh, I have to consider that value for here and here if you uh, see one thing that our history one will be here GL ground level but uh, I'll not not change that. I'll just short ascending, and from that point to sorry, sorry. Uh, I have to make some change here. We did a story go for modify and from here I have to change because uh, from uh, story 9 it's considered uh, story 10 will not be continuous because uh, it has considered that the 9 and 10 not like the ascending value it considered after 1 it's go 10 11 12 like that so for that story we have to change the history name f1 f2 f3 f4 F5, F6, F7, F8, F9. After that, we consider that not F, F. After F, we consider FG, G1, G2, G3. G4 G5 Finally G6 So In several video When we have completed our building take Then I have discussed with you that Why we will Make that like way I mean To make it Ascending and descending We have to do that so refresh windows okay okay again we'll open that straight up and here you are seeing that first of all f1 f2 f3 like that then g1 g2 g3 g4 g5 g6 so we'll go for copy it Yeah. 
integer value for every x degree height is 10 and so from e tabs we have found that this is our value this is our required value i mean base force and this is in kilonewton this is in kips so are done and uh, this s tray number is it's nothing but uh, we have just made that uh, for our work purpose and uh, you can do it in many way just i'm going to do that for my confirmation avatar billing so thank you thank you very much and uh in my next video i will complete here that how we will assign our that load i mean uh, from e tabs double keeps and how we will complete for our earthquake analysis so thank you thank you very much still still connected till next